Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a resort review on Breathless Montego Bay. I am not there now, I'm at another resort. Stay tuned if you want to see a review on this resort. Breathless is a party, party, party. It's part of the AM Resorts. When I arrived, I was greeted by the bellman. They took my luggage, sprayed it down. I walked to the lobby where I was checked in. Before I sat, he sanitized the desk, the chair. They even have new pens where they sanitize after each use. So they're keeping up with all the safety precautions. I was greeted with a welcome drink. It was purple like the theme colors for breathless are purple and it was delicious refreshing so the layout of the resort is actually small smaller than what I envisioned I guess I did research before I went this is actually my first time that I I went to breathless Montego Bay I've been to the breathless Putacana everything is right there being that it is so small they have exchange privileges with Secrets St. James and Secrets Wild Orchid, which is right next door. You just take a bridge uh, that's connected to the two resorts. Over in Secrets, they have more restaurants, more bars. But I actually stayed on the breakfast side the entire time except for one night when I decided to go to dinner. Once I had checked in, I went to go get lunch. I had jerk wings and those were delicious. It was like wings and jerk sauce and it had a pineapple at the bottom and the pineapple just you know jerk seasoning or jerk chicken whatever is just spicy so being that it had the pineapple to it it made it like a spicy and sweet so that was good the drinks were delicious strong the bartender calvin at the bar near the pool um i forgot what was the bar's name it's like covered in the back can't miss it because like I said, the resort is super small. Um, he was good with the drinks. He kept me company because I was solo. So once my room was finished, I went to my room. Um, one of the bellmen brought my luggage up. And let me tell you, the room was gorgeous. Super high tech, super chic, super couples, you know, if you want to get away. And I'm saying that because they have mood lighting. They have mood lighting for like just a chill drink. And they have a moon lighting for love. And love, the whole room just illuminates with this purple light. And it is so beautiful. And then in the room, they have a tablet where you can ch actually change the light color of everything. Um, any color you could think of. You could even mix combinations like if you know the... What is it, the numbers of the color? You know, when you're doing high-tech stuff on a computer and you're creating your own colors, like that. So that was really cool. I played with it, enjoyed it, it was good. So anyway, once I checked into my room, he showed me around the room. There's a big glass shower in the middle of the room that separates the regular bathroom from the bedroom. If you are there with, say, a friend, um, or you just want privacy during that shower time, there is a curtain that comes down on the shower so you can have privacy. Other than that, if they go around, it's open, it's glass. Everything's automatic, even the blinds, the curtains, to open to your balcony. You push it, it opens, it's really beautiful. They actually also included incense and matches. I was a little surprised with that because you know, most hotels and resorts, I think all maybe, you aren't allowed to smoke, let alone they give you matches? No. So they have matches in the room to light the incense. They have this privacy door that I absolutely love. The privacy door is when you order room service, they put it there. If you're done, you put it there, they take it out of this little door next to your main door. They don't knock on your door so you're not disturbed. So you can wear whatever you want when you get your food because you're not actually looking at the person. So in there, they have the mini bar items because due to COVID, the refrigerator in the room isn't stopped. They keep it in the privacy and you just take it out, put it in your refrigerator. So in there I had um, the restaurant, bears, waters, sodas, 
And I have a specialty cake because it is my birthday. It came in this little tin can. So delicious. It was chocolate with like a nice whipped cream frosting. And then later on, um, I was presented with a bottle of liquor. I believe it's called Kingston. It's by Ray and Nephew. I've never seen the brand, but I've seen it while I've been in Jamaica. So I don't know if it's fairly new or whatnot. But they gave it to me in this cute little breathless bag. Food wise. So food wise, I was told that it's not 24 hour room service. And I don't know if that's because due to COVID, it's not 24 hour, but the room service ends at 10 p.m. Um, and the restaurant on property, they end at 11 p.m. So if you have them late night cravings, you know, after you've been drinking, it's best to order your room service by 10 o'clock, leave it in your room. Other than that, you're kind of on your own to just wait until breakfast. They should somehow still include room service 24 hours because it is a party resort. And you know, when you start drinking, you want to eat, you have to eat to feed the liquor. So somehow, they need to fix that. Like I said, I don't know if it's because of COVID that the hours are shortened, but yes. I didn't get a chance to order from the room service menu, but I did see the options and there was a couple of options. The buffet, the breakfast was delicious. Breakfast had your typical Jamaican breakfast, which was fried dumplings, boiled dumplings, ackee and saltfish, brown sweet chicken. They had an omelet station. They had your yogurts. All your pastries, bagels, croissants, cakes, um, pancakes, toast. The breakfast was delicious and they also have mimosa. During breakfast, they actually have a DJ playing during breakfast. So this is definitely a party resort and that's your show. If you're not ready to party, don't attend breathless resorts. For dinner, they had, I went to the buffet also my first night for dinner they had jerk chicken jerk pork curry chicken curry goat and oxtails those were the meat choices i don't know of any resort or any other or you can eat or all-inclusive place where oxtails are inclusive usually when you go to any restaurant and it's like maybe a buffet they weigh it by the weight and that's it and usually oxtails are super expensive being that we are at an all-inclusive resort the oxtails were included and they were good even the rice and peas were good you could taste the coconut in the rice and peas that dinner that i had that night was so delicious they also had saltfish fritters vegetarian fritters corn on the cob festival cabbage callaloo it was a small buffet, but it had the staples that it needed and it was so delicious. During lunch, I went on a rooftop restaurant and I had this spicy chickpea and coconut sauce, delicious, with white rice. You taste the coconut in the white rice. And then I also had some chicken. It was like a honey glazed chicken that was also good, but the spicy chickpeas and the coconut sauce. For the vegetarians out there, that was good. And I'm not a vegetarian, but I just chose to taste it. And it was delicious. Party-wise, atmosphere, entertainment, had a phone party every day around 3 p.m. for about two hours a DJ there entertainment staff dancing you know pouring champagne bottles on everybody's a real turn up resort nightly entertainment they had nightly shows like a trapeze shows theme parties like an all-white night or all-black night and then every night about 11 p.m., they had a silent party. 
that was right near the lobby, right outside the lobby, which was cool because you got to sit outside or sit inside at the lobby, which is called the Wink Bar. And there, the bartender who is the best at the Wink Bar is O'Neal. He's a great bartender. O'Neal and Adrian. They are great bartenders. I definitely recommend when you do go to Breathless, tell them Corey sent you. Hopefully, they still remember me. Because my three nights there, I sat at the bar every night, had a drink from them, and it was just good vibes. Overall, the resort is beautiful. I do plan to go there again. The only complaint that I did have was the food ending so early. Because you drink and you want to eat. I do believe that at the Wink Bar they had cookies uh, that was just there all night. And one afternoon in the lobby bar, they was giving out jerk chicken, beef patties, some rice and peas. It was just good. So one night I decided to venture over to Secrets. And I went to their Italian restaurant, which I believe was Portofina. I had the lasagna and the chicken with parmesan on top. I believe that was chicken parmesan. They were both delicious. Like the food, hands down, AM Resorts, good job on the food. No complaints on the tastiness of the food. Everything was hot, everything tasted fresh, good. Other than the staff that I met at the bar, some were, you know, some were friendly saying, hey, how you doing? But a lot of staff, they didn't acknowledge when you pass by. Like, I went to other resorts, like here for instance, or the resort that I've been to prior to this. Everyone that I passed, good morning, good afternoon, how are you, how are you? At Breathless, some did that. I think they need to work on that a little bit. Just, just saying hi. You know, just when you pass by somebody, just hi, hi, good morning. That's another thing that could be worked out. Other than that, if you are interested in attending Breathless Montego Bay or any other Breathless Resort, they have in Punta Cana, which is Dominican Republic. They have one in Cabo. They have one in Cancun, which is Riviera Maya. And they have one in Jamaica, which is Mo Bay. Contact me, Corey. The owner of Fork and Fly, I will be glad to assist you. Make a package that caters to your needs. Thank you for watching. Always like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your comments below on would you like to visit this resort or have you visited this resort? Or have you experienced a resort that had delicious food and what did you eat? Let me know in the comments below. Fork and Fly.